Rimrims, revelers of absurdity, and other viewers, welcome to what I am choosing to call Rimworld Catharsis Epilogue. After the end of yesterday's episode, I, I, I thought for a while, am I happy leaving it on that note? What was the goal of this series? It was it was for, for good to fight evil, for me to take out my frustrations and build a base and defeat Void. And really what it ended up being is the first 50% of the series was Void killing me over and over and over, and then the last 50% of the series was me killing Void over and over and over, with not really much of an epic showdown. There wasn't any great a confrontation it was just a kind of minor inconvenience because i couldn't die and simultaneously void are as every npc faction is unending and unstoppable so there wasn't really much of an inconvenience to them either and even though we've had some memorable moments out there on this planet the majority of which involve uh infanticide i wasn't happy i wasn't happy leaving it like that and i asked for suggestions for feedback both in the comment section yesterday and across discord and i think there were some fantastic ideas. Things that I have definitely missed out on. Operation Flex on Void that I picked up to no end didn't really happen. Uh, getting all the bars and superpowers didn't really happen. Nothing really happened. We just kind of got to victory through very overpowered custom weapons and 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 using mods to their very extreme limit like, like Vanilla Expanded Ancients. I didn't get that epic showdown I wanted. So the first and biggest change is going to be the removal of the Combat AI 5000 mod, though I think it's a fantastic mod. I think it makes some very necessary changes for defeating kill boxes and getting around to kind of the very basic, boring Grimworld siege mechanics and combat mechanics. In this series, I think actually those Rimworld combat mechanics would be better. Void charging down the front gate with all their monsters and their weaponry and there being a big epic showdown. Uh, an actual fight, because as it is right now, they're mining through the wall, they're picking off tiny little things, trying to steal stuff here and there, and we're just able to go and kill them one by one. If it was the whole Void army charging me down, we'd have a real proper fight on our hands. Secondly, the removal of Cassandra Classic in favor of well, Void. The Void Storyteller. It's been updated for 1.4. I'll be honest, I didn't realize. Uh, so we are going to be moving over to that one right away. And now, I mean, as far as Flex on Void goes, what the hell have I done? I built a golden throne. And I've replaced some of the walls that Void didn't even give a shit about anyway with lights that have made absolutely no difference. I don't want deep drills anymore. I want Void members mining on my behalf. I don't just want a throne room next to the reactor, though it is pretty cool. Maybe I will keep this. I want an epic throne room with braziers and a piano and the finest Void servants feeding me their caviar. Is this a bedroom fit for a king? I don't think so. It's a, it's a nice bedroom, don't get me wrong, but it's very average. I want a golden four-poster bed. I want a bathhouse. I want a goddamn hot tub. I want a toilet made with solid diamonds, and I want Void to build it for me. And then on top of that, what if we remake Void in my own image? Literally. Someone said, why not implant stacks into Void? and plug them into copies of your very own body. No vault walls, no giant turrets. Let's get let's get silver and marble and statues and fountains. So I think without further ado, no more blood and dust, Cassandra. I only put it on blood and dust because there were too many void monsters spawning and it was taking ages to kill them even though they were absolutely no threat. We're going to turn it over to void losing his fun. Because I think at this point, losing would be fun. Before we can begin, there are a couple of things we need to do. We need to go and pick up 78, who I accidentally blasted to the other side of the map. Ooh, bloody hell, that was fast. <laughs> Hello, Concrete Gregner. You can deal with that for me, can't you, my friend? That's on you. Jesus Christ, that is enormous. You could fight the fire, or you could fight the leaper. It's attacking its own chamber. Wait, someone suggested a much better idea. Don't kill that. Bring it back to the base. I need that for science. Oh, my robots. Damn it. Well, that's a necessary evil. Where am I? You're going to have to be quicker than that. There's a, there's a friend. We'll call it a friend. It will be a friend by the time I'm done with it. <gasps> they knocked it down. Wait, the turrets actually managed to knock the bloody thing down. Cut from a guardless katana. And then the obelisk lasers. They did so more than I expected. And this is something we've never been able to see because all the bloody void raids shut down the lights. And we get the void monsters attacking. They just punch the walls. Built and upgraded all these turrets and I've used them to... Oh, no. Oh, I used them to execute a, a little Grigna. Okay, let's stop. Stop with the manual fire. No, that's fine now. 
I'm over that. We're the good guys officially. Oh, hold on. Merge caravan. Launch. Back to base. I'm so glad that works. See, I wasn't sure if it would or not. Damn. They can keep it suppressed too. I hope they just don't fire so much that they kill it. Because look, it's healing itself. It's going to stand up. And by the time it gets back up, the turrets are just going to blast it again. Oh, no. Joris the Brave. Joris the Brave is dead. I can either be vengeful, a stoner, or a tortured artist. Well, I mean, Samuel feels alienated and misunderstood by other human beings. He will have a constant mood debuff and get a chance to gain a creativity inspiration after a mental break. And yet, here we are. Rimworld catharsis epilogue, everyone. <laughs> Raven is no longer capable of walking. We still have Void prisoners who are alive. We have a lot of Void prisoners who are still alive. Uh, I mean, to be fair, they do have a thing that resurrects them, so you kind of expect that. I need to use a forbidden piece of technology for one of my plans. You'll understand why when I get there, and I promise I will only use it for good. Are you still leave incubators, you don't say. Oh, we're home. Oh, we're not home quite yet. There we are. Say 78, you don't happen to have animal speech, do you? Um, you do. Well, strangely enough, I have just the animal I'd like you to speak to. I don't know if this will work. If it doesn't work, I'll steal its soul and we'll keep it for science. Animal speech. Leaper. Oh. <laughs> I promise that bucko drink music was purely a coincidence. Oh my god, Operation Flex on Void is back on the menu. Holy shit. <laughs> Rescue my friend. <laughs> Where did you put Joris? Where did you put Joris the Brave? There he is. Get him resurrected. Don't just put him in the storage unit. Bring him back. Oh, this is it. Do you see me now, Bucko Drink? Do you see me now? Where are the resurrected mech serums, though? Oh, well, hold on. Resurrector mech serum. We do have some. It's okay. Oh, they're right there. Good, good, good. Use that on Joris. Bring him back, please. Now, here's another part of Operation Flex on Void. Supposedly, these Joruses have multiple heads, and we can implant multiple things into multiple heads. Say, a whole bunch of Void brain implants, a whole bunch of Void eyes. I can already feel the sanity slipping a little bit. Oh, my, sorry, my animal bed has been reserved by this enormous leaper. What must the people in the hospital think? What must the... They must think that, that hope is lost. Holy crap. <laughs> heaven has fallen. Heaven has fallen. Their equivalent of heaven has fallen, and now I reign. Volatile leaper is my new best friend. Okay, here's the plan. I'm going to implant some stacks into these people. Wait. Do I implant stacks into them? And put them in sleeves. Or do we do something better still? Keep playing that bucko drink music, because my god, for this idea, you're going to need it. I need a stack array. And I need to put a stack in none other than Grigna Grignison. <laughs> what if we turn Void from the strongest, most feared faction into clones of Grigna? This is far better. Oh, is this better, though? Somebody said, why not install, obviously, the stacks into the Void people, download the personalities, plug them into stacks of me to literally recreate them in my image. But then there was a bunch of me hanging around with Void thoughts in their mind, and that's not right. So then I thought, why not clone Grigna and install them into Grigna? But then we're going to be waiting ages for sleeves to grow. So I want to just install Grigna into the Void people. <laughs> Oh, what a great plan. Now, you remember what I was talking about, forbidden technology? We can't just get stacks. We can't just make stacks. We can't just buy stacks. I'm going to have to use the replicator, I'm afraid. And as I said, I'm only using this for the power of good. And, and can you argue that cloning Grigna's mind, making sure that my boy is safe and protected from the tyrannies of this world who might seek to annihilate him or his child form via the means of multiple very large turret emplacements, maybe... I can step up and defend him. Maybe this is a good use of that. This is the only thing I'm going to use this for. We're going to say, or make me two Arco stacks, and that's it. Maybe not even Arco stacks, maybe just regular stacks, so we're not under too much of a threat. Empty cortical stack, done. That's all I want, just two of those. Okay, just 20 of those, seeing as that's apparently the minimum. And then in theory, boom. <laughs> as soon as the little robot builds this as well. 
Oh, my friend. Enable automatic backup. Grigna, I need to borrow your neck for a moment, my friend. You see, we are all Grigna on this blessed day. Or at least all avoid is Grigna on this blessed day. Oh, God. Was this an idea so stupid I've broken reality? Because it seems to have stopped. No, quite the opposite. Reality was willing and able. Oh, this is a good idea. This is an amazing idea. I need to... I need to... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please don't make too many of those, for God's sake. I need to download his consciousness. How do we do that? Uh, emergency... Emergency backup. Of all active cortical stacks on the local map that belong to the colony. Concrete Grigner cannot walk. Oh, it's, it's doing it. We're good. It is. Concrete Grigner is now backed up in the array. I need to duplicate... Existing full cortical stack that's stored in the array. I need to download Grigna onto a stack, though. How do I do that? Talk about this purchase to be restored to a new stack. Yes, it, it definitely should. How do I download? Can I download from this to there? Or do I have to take out Grigna's stack and plug it in the machine first? Because I'm, I'm happy to do that. Like, I'm, I'm happy. This is for... This is this this is to this is to propagate him throughout the world. One Grigna must die so that other Grignas may live. Good night, sweet angel. Good night, Grigna. Thank you. That should be put into the machine, and then we simply duplicate Grigna. Oh, oh, this is good. This is good. How, can we load those into the array? How does this work? I can just make new. Dax? Oh, that's why, because no one's assigned to uh, no one's assigned to researching. Hold on then. So let's go like that. Prioritize duplicating stack array. You take an empty stack over to the stack array and download it on. Ready to be implanted into void. Oh, but this is good though, isn't it? Isn't this a good time for everyone involved? Samuel failed to do well, I mean look, okay, it's Grigner. Maybe he's not the safest consciousness to be downloading. Let's just try it again. Keep going. Come on. This is for Grigna. That definitely worked. Sammy successfully duplicated the cortical stack. And now, if the science is right. Hello there. We give Grigna a fully outfitted void body. I need to give them the bear hats. How can I do that? Because we need a snow hair and a polar bear corpse. Out of pure, pure curiosity. We can just clone a polar bear. <laughs> so I sacrificed one of the people here, but I am repurposing them back into a usable body to rename the original to simply Grigna. Grigna the Foundation. Then we're going to keep duplicating him out, of course. I want to make sure that I'm not... Is there a problem with copying a copy? That's a, that's a pretty common sci-fi thing, right? So let's go ahead and install Grigna into one of my many void friends. Oh... Oh my god. Raven has died. Cause cortical stack. There is only Gregna now. <laughs> ah, my void friends. Thank you for volunteering. Get them copied over. Then we duplicate Gregna again. Another one. Another one. Void rituals deactivated. Oh no, Gregna's a cannibal. Oh, shit. Yeah, no, we need to solve that before we get too ahead of ourselves here. A bunch of cannibal Grigna clones seems like a really horrible, horrible idea. Those are on a shelf. I am just throwing them on top of the stack array. It'd be very bizarre. Will I take out... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop, back, stop backing him up. Hang on. Let's take the original out, implant it, brainwash him, and go from there. Okay. So, Powers, or the person previously known as Powers, now just Grigna, is the original. So, let's be careful with this. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hello. How are you doing, friend? Are you good? Oh, you're so lovely. Get down from there. What do you think you're doing on the reactor? What have we told you? Who's going to volunteer to train this? Is anybody even capable of... Uh, we're going to have to, like, make some skill trainers or something. We can't make skill trainers, I think. Like, not with the replicator. Like I said, the replicator is only being used for stacks. I think there's a way to program them. And then maybe we could train me up in animals. Animal skill is 2.4. What about 78? 4.12. Oh, shit. The only person who might be able to train it is Grigna. Replicate skill trainers. No, I'm not. I'm only using it for, for things that we absolutely can't get through any other means. Oh, shit. I thought there was a way to do it, but maybe I'm wrong. And to clarify, of course, I am going to try and collect all of the horrifying void monsters. I'm going to need some name suggestions for these in the comment section. I could just name it like Enormous Frightening Grigna or something like that. But I think we need something more original. 
Something better. Oh shit, Grigna's taming it. He's taming it with human meat. He's probably feeding it the human meat we got from when I ground up original Grigna. I wouldn't give that thing a taste for human flesh. I feel like it's a poor plan. Yeah, I'll, I'll take suggestions for names from the comments. I'll put my favorite from the comments. I'll just pick what's the most devoted or whatever. I think we're going to need quite a few suggestions because I'm going to collect them all. Like some sort of horrifying Pokemon. Uh, where's the med pod? Where's the med pod? Did Void actually manage to steal the med pod last time they attacked? What the hell? Med... But it's gone. Wow. I can't even be angry. That's impressive stuff. That's, that's all Void have been. Or at least that's all Void were. Up until today's changes, of course. All, all they did is... Oh my god, coal med pod. Oh sure, yeah, why not? Let's do it. They were just... They were just burglars. They just turned up, stole my stuff, ran away, posed no threat whatsoever. So this is going to be a game changer. Oh, I like that sophisticated Grigna. Oh, look at you. Oh my god, their outfits are defaulting to Grigna. I need to make them more help. We need more hats. And I will use the replicators to make, what was it, polar bears and hares? Because we're in a wasteland. The whole pl the, the, the biome that they spawn on isn't on the planet. We physically can't get them. Polar bear breeding program? That seems a little unnecessary. Remind me, what was it? Grignison hat was a polar bear corpse and a snow hair corpse. Okay, so let's say uh, do until we've got always one of those in storage. Maybe even like a couple of in storage. A couple of spares. We've got a lot of Grignans after all. Replicator, I want a snow hair. This is going to break everything, isn't it? And a polar bear. <laughs> this, is, this is science. Science going far too far. Uh, I think that may have broken everything. Hold on. Hold on. Let's try that again. Clear all. I would like a polar bear. Just keep it set to one rather than place in stockpile. Oh, God. Oh, no, I don't think this is going to work. Oh, this is the saddest moment of my life. Polar. Let's try it once more. Oh, clear all. Polar bear. And then we want to say, uh, just like drop on floor. Okay. And then do X times. Just do once. Shit, it doesn't work. Well, unless they're spawning in polar. No. Damn. I might just have to spawn in the hats with the replicator. Because there isn't any other way to get them, unfortunately. I wanted to make these manually because, of course, then there's a chance they'll be legendary. I presume this is just going to drop them on the floor like normal. Yeah, normal quality. Oh. Maybe I could recycle them. Yeah, but we need specifically the polar bear corpse. These are like fake synthetic polar bear hats. They're nowhere near as good. I, I really do only want one of them, though. I don't need this many. I'm just going to have to suspend that. Oh, my God. They're having a party. Oh, this is nice. Uh, what? Sorry. What's his social tab look like? Copy. Original. We're friends now? Oh, that's nice. But remember, this is a different Grigna. The other Grigna was a troublemaker. We're, we're going to forget about him. He ended up fell into the meat grinder horribly. There's a different aspect of Grigna. A kinder aspect of Grigna, clearly. I love that everybody's friends. That's good. Although this is getting a little bit meta. <laughs> oh, Jesus. It's like the Crusader Kings 3 series all over again. What if Grigna isn't the man? What if it's the hat? What if it's the hat that the man wears and it possesses them? Oh, the original spirit of Grigna passed on through the hat itself. I like that. Am I about to, what, 20, what are we, 23 episodes in at this point or something like that? Am I about to, to finally enable the ideology? Ooh. No. I was going to say, should we adjust that? No, no, no. Let's not change who Grigna is. Let's just drop the ideology right down to zero. Get Grigna converted. Now for my next trick. This is a bit of a necessary evil, I'm afraid. I'm going to make the base stupider. And I know what you're thinking. Oh, but it's already so perfectly impractical. Well, sadly, having a bunch of glowing lights everywhere, a bunch of auto drills, and a bunch of smart assemblers will slow things down a little bit. We can't have that and a whole army of brainwashed void Grignas. Now, along with de-automating the entire base in favor of void brainwashed Grignas, which I think is far more of a flex, I have been accused by very prominent modders, in fact, of being a hoarder. I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. It's quite hurtful, really. And I have also noticed that, probably because of some a very deep down modding compatibility, the Grignas seem to get very confused about the digital storage units. It is only the Grignas. Me and 78 are fine. Maybe it is because they're that stupid. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, it already feels good. And I think with that, we've got all the things we need to kickstart this brand new era. I'm about to do something very controversial. I am inevitable. Gone. All of those resources, all of that wealth, instantly gone. And I know exactly what you're thinking right now. Are you going to use a single deep drill to try and run this entire anti-void empire? No, no, no. You see, there are already resources out there in the world for us, right? Because, I mean, after all, we've still got to test out the fully automatic version too, the true fully automatic, before I seal it up for a rainy day. And who do we all know who has all the resources I'm ever going to need? And she's gone forever. Brilliant. Note to self, next time you attack a void base, just warp there. Just, just walk in. I think the carriers don't like one of the biomes it spawns in a weird way, and then you land in a mountain, and that's kind of the end of it. I've learned my lesson. Instead, we will take the uh, the, the, the new Grignas, who, bear in mind, have loads of Void Bionics, 1,000 manipulation, and we'll just put them to work on deep drills. The Grignas, they yearn for the mine. I can only build it out of concrete. Uh, really? No, we don't even have enough concrete. I can only build it out of jade. <laughs> well, that's almost a flex in itself, isn't it? By almost, I mean, no, that is absolutely a flex now that I think about it. Even the mine shafts are made from jewels. And speaking of rock chunks, I think it's time to say goodbye to the glitter glass walls as much as I love them. They're probably not helping things. They're probably not helping all the complexity we've got going on here. Uh, this looks like a post-apocalyptic neon fortress when I want it to look like a goddamn palace. So instead, we're going to go for uh, marble chunks. How many am I realistically going to want? Like 50? I've kept a digital storage unit only as an input-output style system. This is just an overflow for things that I haven't yet found storage for. So we've only got a few things in there right now. The Humogen can say go in the uh, master bedroom. That needs doing. And we also need like a proper dining room. We need a real throne room too. Maybe I'll move the nuclear reactor over. I think I'm pretty much done with the superpowers at this point. Unless 78 were to horribly die. Oh, I should make backups. We need a vault. We need a vault with backups of me and 78 in it as well. Oh, they're so speedy and efficient. What a gift. Thank you, Void. Arguably, it's possibly even faster than the assemblers that we used to have. So now let's go out of our way to... Obviously, it's got to be fine walls, right? We're not animals. Oh, I've had a, I've had an idea, but it's, it's very, very, very ambitious. What is the point of living in fear like this? Why not take down the outer wall entirely and turn all these uh, all these outside buildings into actual proper full on buildings? We need some. We, need, we do need some sort of wall uh, to counter void, though. Oh, I mean, I could make like a single vault wall, like a few blocks thick. Throw it around the outside of the whole map. Forty two thousand steel, though. <laughs> I, I think I've done it again. I think I've gone a little bit over the top with the um with the with the outside wall. But I mean, I, I guess you must be new here. Welcome to the channel. That's kind of <laughs> that's kind of what we do. That's the modus operandi, right? So I've thrown down these uh, walls. I don't just want to have a single entrance corralling void in again. I don't think that's super interesting, um, particularly because we're kind of back to base game room world mechanics, right? So I thought having these kind of major openings on on either side worked pretty well. Got some nice wall designs, I think, going on there. If you combine two of the hexagons and I don't think tessellate is the right word in this situation, but kind of like that. You end up with a with a with a pseudo octagon, which is what this thing is. You see, it's different to the other walls. A little bit of variety. This way, it's 50% flex and 50%. Okay, they're still void. We do have to worry about them a little bit, even though we've got all this mad technology. Once we've got this up, I think I'll. Oh, am I going to remove the outer wall of this? Maybe not remove it entirely, but but definitely definitely slim it down a bit, I think. All of the many Void Grigna clones can can live outside the walls. We'll, we'll build them their own separate houses each and things like that. They can work out there. This main structure we're going to turn into the Imperial District. The Cloud District. And that is where I will live. On my golden throne. You probably think this is absolutely insane. This is going to take you forever. Not really. When we've got Grignas helping out. I mean, the construction skill is only three, right? But when you consider their manipulation is what? 1,100 percent they'll get it done in no time at all the only thing we have to oh uh, yeah i mean case in point the only thing we have to do is make sure that we're getting enough steel to stay on top of it now one deep drill probably won't be able to do that i'm afraid to say so we're gonna have to make sure these mines are active and we'll probably have to oh 
I thought you could mine all the resources in the mines. Damn. Okay. I really wanted the Grignas to be the thing. Oh, the Void Grignas, of course, to be the thing to bring in all the resources. There might be a setting I can change to uh, swap that over. We could use quarries, sure, but quarries, of course, would just spit out infinite resources. When you've got multiple characters with 1,000 manipulation, we're just going to be drowning in it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's the spirit. Well done. I think given that now one Grigna is at least grass touch, we'll take the other two, pull the stacks out, I guess wipe the stacks and then download this new one to that and then put them back in their bodies once we've rebuilt them. It is a bit of a pain in the ass, but it's this or the cannibalism meme takes over. So I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna get rid of that. And in theory, boom, there we go. One brand new converted Grigna. No more cannibalism logo, or at least there won't be soon. Let's do the same with the other two. We've got to make sure that these stacks disappear because they're the, they're the, they're the crap ones with the wrong ideology. There we go. Let's go ahead and get those ones re- purposed and that other void person we had in the prison can be another greg now oh my god i think we're i think we're finally done with it so let's get that duplicated oh and this guy even looks the part oh shit and four infected i'd like to see you try is that an, is that another one wait taxes detected a possible threat it's estimated that an unknown force will attack via land in approximately less than a day oh good so we've got N4 infected and then something else. Could be mechanoids, of course. Could be void proper. In the quarry, as much as I hate it because we're just going to be drowning in wealth again. I think it's a necessary evil right now. I mean, to be fair, like, it's still void characters doing the quarrying for us. So I consider that I consider that kind of acceptable. Oh, we can have a couple of void grigners in the quarry just mining. No, don't put the wood there. What are you doing, you weird man? That way, when the other two Void Grignas are done, they can both be builders, these two can both be miners, and then we'll find a better solution. I'm sure there is a setting we can change to make it so that they mine the amount of steel that we need, rather than just non-stop all the time. <laughs> Holy shit, we've still got one spare I see linear chip, so we could throw down... What the hell is it? Vet Pod Mega for the enormous Void Monsters. Because I'm sure they will probably get... Well, I mean, they're going to be fighting other Void Monsters, so you presume they'll be evenly matched, right? Oh my god, you need so much space for this bloody thing. <laughs> that is enormous. Okay, we'll put the hospital beds, I guess, on this wall instead. Well, I guess tomorrow, then, we'll finally see the true fully automatic in action. I did want to test it today, but I'm not risking going to another Void base and having 78 drop out of existence. We've got the other two Grignas to help us out, too, and I mean, if they die, we just chuck them in the vats and bring them back to life. Wish there was a way to do that a little bit faster. Because as if, you know, having unlimited people to help us out wasn't fast enough. I like this change of pace because, I mean, how on earth can I be considered a king if I have no people to rule over? What better flex is there than ruling over Void themselves? Void just slightly reprogrammed to be more of a Grigna form. So the other thing I wanted to mention very briefly is if, if, if you have any suggestions, things to build, ideas to pursue, weird mad science to try out, I'm all ears. Other ways to flex on Void, I, I am very much interested in. Because again, I wasn't happy just kind of leaving this as as it was. It felt a bit shallow. It felt like a bit of a crap ending. Okay, we built this unbeatable gun and because of a combination of all the mods we've got enabled, we, we just blow them up and that's the end. I've kind of done that before. And this is maybe one of the most mad science, mad science packs we've got going. And we haven't really done anything super interesting with it yet. So I'm all ears. If you've got any insane things to try, now's the time to really do it. And I'll apologize in advance, but I'm going to cut this episode off here. I think it's probably going to end up being a little shorter than the usual episode. But I think I've got a horrible illness, probably from an enormous sea of salmonella that I had to deal with the other day. Or maybe, maybe it's not salmonella. Maybe it's Sam and Grigna. Thank you. Thank you to Akimbo Orphans, Assault Fox, Zona Shimmel, Cal345, Void Runner, Vlad Reacts, Spintex, Basic Dev, JMO, Pokemon Backer, Bryce, Ithronel, Snozza, Dracovia, Shadow1317, Simothy, Jimothy, Chris, Mask of Loki, Fru Floofy Prawn, Izzy Claire, Arnie Rass, Borderlands 2 Krieg, Panda, Red Raptor, and Chief Werewolf for their support. The executive produced tears over on Patreon. Thank you for bearing with me. Thank you for being here. We've got some big plans coming up hopefully later this month. I know I've been saying that for a while, but every time I, I feel like I'm getting a grip on things again, something else comes up and throws a spanner in the works. So we'll be... Everything will be fine. <laughs> I'm not sure who I'm trying to convince at this point. Thank you to Roman Von Klein, Hottie Sphinx, V... Vertra? Verta? V3RTAA underscore underscore. Thank you. Alan Robert Cox, Hyrax Cerasus. I am Nick the Good. Stormcrower, Military Chest, Nox Immortalis, Pumbly, Sondry, Brian, Locket217, Phil, 
Raptor Mother, Zubot the Chaotic, Britno, Halo Lover, Schmeggles, and Lilac Logan. You can't bully me for saying names wrong today. I'm very ill, very unwell.